Today, we'll be getting updates from Allen if there's breaking news on a player who's decided to commit. And we understand the Buckeyes just got a good one. They just picked up offensive tackle Thayer Munford, a four star guy, six foot six, 330 pound offensive tackle that they had in camp. Uh, for Friday Night Lights. They waited through his senior season, evaluated his senior tape, which he played only in the last few games at the end of the season, but had an extremely good season. They offered him late. They get him in the class. And, you know, when they won the national title a few years ago, they did that with entirely homegrown offensive linemen, all from the state of Ohio. Taylor Decker, Pat Elfline, Jacoby Bourne, Billy Price, guys like that have been great players for them. I think Thayer Munford's going to be the next in-state guy to have a big impact on their offensive line. Munford is beefy. Six <laughs> foot five, three. 320 pounds from the state of Ohio. He joins a very impressive class for Ohio State. As we said, one of the absolute elite classes in the country. And if you look at the last three seasons, here are the teams that have top 20 classes every single year. And sure enough, you see Ohio State in there with Penn State and other elite programs like Alabama or the national champions, the Clemson Tigers right there. Well, one of the big names Ohio State is bringing in is a fellow who plays quarterback. His name is Tate Martell. Martell was the USA Today National Offensive Player of the Year and the Gatorade National Player of the Year. He's standing by right now with Allison Hayes. Tate Martell, the quarterback of this Ohio State recruiting class, what does it feel like to know that you are now going to be an Ohio State Buckeye? Um, I mean, I'm already here, so I mean, it's it's been fun. I mean, I have a good time with, you know, all the guys and getting to learn all the all the stuff, the ins and outs here. Um, you know, I already know I'm gonna be getting a lot better here. I mean, I can tell the difference just by how we work out here. I mean, I'm gonna be a a lot better player being here. The quarterback position at Ohio State, obviously a, a very sought after position and a, a lot of people pay a lot of attention to this position. Uh, how do you take that mindset as you come in here? I mean, it's kind of, I guess it's like from where I'm coming from at a, at a high profile high school, I mean, it's just like an extension of it. I already knew I had to carry myself a certain way even in high school being in a program like that. Um, but even more so now, I mean, with Coach Meyer, he's, he's told me, he's like, he's, you're, the, you're the quarterback here. you got to hold yourself to a different standard. And I mean, I, I completely understand that. Sure. And what was it about Ohio State that made you want to come and play here? Um, I mean, this is my dream school. And as soon as Coach Meyer offered me uh, uh, in January last year, this is the place I knew I should be. And just, you know, looking ahead to the future, what are your goals for yourself as a player but also as a teammate? Um, I don't really have any personal goals, but um, I just want to go out there. You know, I want to play, but I also want to win national championships here. I mean, that's that's the biggest thing is uh, the impact you leave on the program, and that's definitely the team's success before your own. And Ohio State's recruiting class this year is one of the best ever. What are your thoughts about this class and knowing that you're a part of it? Um, I mean, that's kind of like what I wanted to do in general. Like, whatever team I was part of, I wanted to be a part of a, t a group of guys that just wanted to be great. And, I mean, and a, a really good group of guys that we had here. Uh, I mean, we always talked about with a lot of these guys that are actually here now. I mean, I saw them at the opening, the Army game, and stuff like that. So we've been talking for a long time, and we all had this kind of, like, goal of wanting to play for uh, a great program but having a great group, group of guys. And especially after we saw last year's group, go in the draft and stuff and that's kind of like the stuff that we kind of had talked about but obviously we still have a long ways to go and nine early enrollees a huge number of guys here early why was it important for you to want to be here um i mean you just got to get here as early as you can if you want if you want to play you definitely have to be here early um especially for my position uh, i had to learn a lot of stuff with the quarterbacks uh, obviously knowing everything in ins and outs of the whole offense you got to pretty much be an offense coordinator on the field and so i need that extra five or six months here before everybody else just been here a short amount of time so far but how is that transition coming along and how do you feel like you're fitting it i mean all the guys are making it pretty pretty easily I mean, jt joe and uh Dwayne are all really welcoming and uh helping me understand the offense and coach day i've spent some time with him and talking with coach wilson all the time so uh i'm really comfortable with everything and there hasn't really been a like a hard transition period or anything and just last one, new offensive coordinator Kevin Wilson. You've seen what he's able to do with offenses. Yeah. What are you hoping to be able to work out with him, and how excited are you to play for him? Yeah, no, I'm, I'm really excited. I mean, to be able to, you know, what Coach Meyer was telling me is you got to expand on the passing game, and that's one thing that he's been really successful with is his passing game and what he brings to the table with that. I mean, he was at Indiana putting up points and passing yards and touchdowns and in the air, like, 
I think more than anybody else in the Big Ten. So, I mean, he knows exactly what he's doing. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm just excited he's here and going to be my coach. Well, welcome to Columbus, and we will now send it back to the studio in Chicago.